Namaste. Namaste. And welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. I'm Anjali. And today we're going to be reacting to Chapak, the official trailer. Yes. Um, Deepika is in it and we've seen her in uh, many uh, movies and dances and beautiful songs. So we know she is a beautiful. But the story, I was reading a little bit about it in the description below and it talks about um, she is playing a girl who was attacked um, by acid on the street in New Delhi yeah. and it's based on a true story and through this film is making an attempt to understand the underground consequences of surviving the acid attack and the social affairs that transpire and you know how she has um, been so hurt or I would assume burned from acid that's just horrendous um, I have never heard of this acid attack thing no. I mean I know Anji hasn't but this, um, I didn't know this was a thing to do, um, so it'd be interesting to see, but let's start it up, Bungie. Mm-hmm. After the case of Nirbhaya, the story of Malti is more important than the story of Malti. Malti has been involved in a lot of PIL, right? Where is the asset? Where is Malti? Malti ji. आप अपना चेहरा दिखाएंगी ताकि पब्लिक को इस हिंसा की गहराई दिख सके। It's important कि मालती अब सिर्फ अपना नया चेहरा देखे सर्जरी के बाद। पूरा फोन लड़कों से भरा पड़ा है। इसका केस से क्या कनेक्शन है? पहले बनने तो दीजिए केस मैडम। अब सब कुछ ही रख देगी क्या? नाक नहीं है, कान नहीं है। झुमके कहाँ लड़काऊँगी? हम दो साल से फ्रेंड्स हैं। अब्बा हराओगे? लड़ना है? पुलिस के हिसाब से तो आपने बयान दिया था कि मालती आपकी गर्लफ्रेंड है। मैंने ऐसा नहीं बोला। सेशन्स कोर्ट के बाद हाई कोर्ट, उसके बाद सुप्रीम कोर्ट। बहुत साल चलने वाला ये केस। शोर की आदत डाल। अटैक उन्हीं लड़कियों पे हुआ जो या तो पढ़ना चाहती थी या पढ़ना चाहती थी कितना अच्छा होता अगर ऐसे बिकता ही नहीं मिलता ही नहीं तो बिकता भी नहीं आप इंटरव्यू नहीं लेंगे हो गया भाई इंटरव्यू अभी बहुत लड़ाई बाकी है तुम इतनी खुश दिखोगी तो कैसे चलेगा अब खुश हूँ तो क्या करूँ This is just horrible, horrible. Yeah. Nobody should have to go through anything like that. I'm glad the story in the end seemed to be positive and that, um, you know, she talked about not letting it affect her. Her, you know, he, he may have burned her body, but not her soul, not who she really is. Yeah. Um, so this kind of stuff shouldn't happen. Girls shouldn't be afraid. You know, it goes back to that Hyderabad case that Anji and I did. And, and, you know, and I did some of it by myself because, you know, girls shouldn't be afraid to go out at night. The court system needs to have a better thing going. Like taking six years, seven years for these cases that are horrible, horrible cases. And they're going next level, next level, next level. And in this story, it looks the same. You know, she went to the lower courts, then the next courts, then the next courts, until hopefully it looks like she finally got justice. But years later, cases like this, when there is proof, when there, when there's like enough you're for evidence, sure you, they did it. It shouldn't go over and over and over again. You know, girls shouldn't be afraid to go out at night. They shouldn't be afraid to go walking by themselves. It throws acid on your face and on your body. I have no words for that. That's like an act of terrorism in my book right now. 
this stuff shouldn't happen. But the courts, they really need a better court system. They need faster action. It shouldn't be lasting forever and ever and ever. You know, where, you know, all these tax dollars are going to all these people that are just dragging these cases, I feel like, through the mud. And then I hear a lot of these people go free. And, and so this stuff just keeps happening over and over again. You know, if it's not acid, it's something else. Now they're like burning people. Like there needs to be a better system. If, if it's taking so long, you know, these, the lawyers and the judges and people are making money, tons of money off of this, if that's why it's taking forever and ever, or is it like, is there really not enough evidence to convict these people or they're getting convicted and then they're appealing and then again they're getting convicted like how many times do you need somebody to say you're guilty before you do something about it like there needs to be some stronger swifter faster action this stuff shouldn't be happening women need to protect themselves but you shouldn't be afraid to go out at night you shouldn't be afraid to walk on the street This is not how it should be in the world. No. But this, I'm, this movie seems to have a positive ending. She really seemed to be, I mean, she's such a great actress, Deepika. Um, We've seen her. She's a beautiful dancer as well. Um, Her playing this part, she does a really awesome job. She does a really good job. She pulls that off. Um, But to have that emotion behind it and to get that like you know what am I supposed to do I can't wear earrings and you know you can see like the pain that she's going through the struggle she goes through you know with the scars on her body and and you can see that she really has put herself in that role um she does an amazing job I hope you guys like this video this looks like an awesome movie I do want to see it I can't wait I this is one of those um even though it's sad, I feel like she comes out of it triumphantly. So I would like to go see this. And uh, Deepika is amazing. So anyways. I hope you guys like this video. And don't forget to subscribe and join our wonderful family. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.